Hey guys, I'm gonna do a small video about this right here. Giraffe tools, my hose reel. So, this thing is a lifesaver in the snake room. It, you can pull it out, it locks into place. Give it a little tug and it'll go right back in. Uh, this thing is a uh, hundred feet in length. Um, I did the plumbing for it myself. My snake room here is in the basement. Um, I kind of threw uh, I threw uh, the styrofoam boards up. I built this room kind of on the fly. I've been living in this house for about 10 months now. So as soon as we moved in, I didn't have a snake room anymore. So I threw this, uh, threw some walls up, um, boarded it off with the uh, insulation board, threw my lights back up. They're uh, they're drilled through that. There's uh, there's little clips. They're drilled right through that to the uh, joists that are above it. Uh, these LED lights are awesome too. Amazon. So back to the hose reel. The hose reel I got on Amazon is about $150. Like I said, this thing's a lifesaver in here. I have a shutoff valve right here. So I don't usually use that. Um, and this thing does not leak. It's, it's awesome. I've had this thing for probably about seven or eight months by now. Um, so if I'm going to leave and go out of town for a couple days or something like that, I'll probably use that shut off just in case. But, let's take you out, show you the plumbing. So like I said, I built, I built this snake room on the fly. I just actually finished doing the drywall on it. Um, and now I'm gonna have to do the plaster and paint the walls but right here let's see it's kind of dark let's see if we can get some more light in here so this this blue pipe is a pex pipe it's kind of hard to see where it's coming in here but there's this right here is an elbow where it goes over into the snake room so all I had to do was get a small pipe cutter. I shut my water off at the main. And right here, there we go. Right here, um, I cut the pipe in these two spots. And then I used these, these uh, push fittings. So there's no welding or anything like that involved. These push fittings you can get from Lowe's or Home Depot. So all I had to do is use a little pipe cutter, cut that up, take that little piece out, and then I push, push this on, and once you push it in, it locks into place. And I cut a little piece coming down this way to get under the joist, throw on the little uh, 45 degree, and did my, I had to do a fitting here, because um, I grabbed, this is a 10 foot long uh, pipe, but I needed a little bit longer, so I had to use the other fitting to make it a little bit longer. And a 90 degree, and at the end of this 90 degree, um, down at the end is just that uh, that shutoff valve fitting, and then that hooks right up to the hose reel. So pretty simple. This this right here is for the uh, the refrigerator that that goes upstairs to the refrigerator. But yeah, pretty simple stuff. You guys can do it too. So I figured I'd show that off so everybody could see kind of how easy it is to really do that. I also did this, this basement, I have a first floor laundry, so this basement did not have a sink. So I went ahead and I ordered this double wide sink on Amazon, it's like 180 bucks. Um, I bought the faucet and there's more of the, uh, the push fittings. I have my hot and my cold coming in push fittings up here, comes along, I put in shut off valves with the push fittings as well, and same thing, 
right into my hot and cold water. I just had to cut the little piece of pipe out. So nothing to it, you know. If you never, if you've never done something like this before, it can be a little, little uh, scary to cut into your pipes, you know. But these push fittings are great. I have not had any leaks at all. Like I said, they're, you know, they're made, they're made for this. So you literally just push the pipe into place and it locks right on and seals it. It's pretty neat. So, and then there we go. Now I have a sink to wash all my tubs in. I hooked up the uh, piece of hose to it and I got a spray nozzle. So now I can clean all my tubs and all that. And as far as the drain goes, um, you, the, the right way to do this for, for me, I'm on a septic and my main drain is right here. The right way to do this would have been to use an up pump, which would, uh, at, once it hits the ground uh, through that drain, it would hit the pump and the pump would pump it up and it would have to connect and, and cut into this um, or probably more, more so into uh, the copper piece here. Um, but I wasn't going to do all that. Um, and if, if I would have, I would have gotten a plumber to do that part. Because uh, I wouldn't have felt comfortable with that. But what I did was, I just put one of these little hoses clamped onto the bottom of the sink. And I ran it right into this sub pump. So what I do is, I just try to... Make sure everything is wiped out really good before I clean it, and I don't let any big chunks go down that drain. Um, what, what I'm also thinking about doing is getting some kind of a, just put a piece of mesh into that, so I don't end up letting any chunks go down. Um, and then, you know, the sump just does the same thing as the up pump would have done, but it pumps it right out and goes right outside instead of going to the septic tank. <clears throat> But that's it so you know as far as um, doing some minor plumbing to add the hose reel if you guys have a basement or a room anywhere where you can access if you can do some access to uh, to the cold water pipe um, you can have a hose reel in your snake room too so that's it guys, figured I'd uh, share that with you.